Hello friends, we do have a, another weekly haul of some really cool deals that I found and I'm in the middle of decorating, but I decided to keep my table simple. So I showed you all this. I got this like, I don't know, two years ago. I've never used it, but I decided to use it for Valentine's Day. These are from Dollar Tree, um, each of the vases, and I just filled it up like with their little fillers to give it some pop. And the garland is from the 99 yeah, from the 99, and I just put it around this, which is also from the 99, and then I think these were from, gosh, trying to remember where I got these from. Where did I get these babies from? Dollar General. These were a dollar each, so I got these at Dollar General, and then I'm just keeping the candle that I had for um, Christmas, because it's red, so it goes, and yeah, I just have the runner. I'm not too sure if I'm going to do anything else with it. Um, kind of busy decorating the rest of the house, but I think I'm just going to keep the dining room simple. Dining room table is simple because this is pretty busy and so is the runner. And I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to add anything yet. I have not decided, but let's get into our haul. All right. So I wanted a wallet and I went on Hello Fancy and I went on to the coach outlet and this looked like a wallet and I ordered it, but obviously it's not. Okay. So this was pretty, I mean, I love it. I totally, I love it. I love it. Um, it has a cool compartment right here with a zipper. You can put stuff in. It's kind of like hidden if you can put the zipper right there. And then of course it has the little handle. You can take it off. Um, the coach tag and inside it has like little compartments. It's actually not little. I could fit Wow, these are pretty deep. I've not I've got this like last week, last Thursday. I didn't even check it out a week ago. I've not even really looked at it. Um, I can fit my whole hand in there. And then here are the certificates showing that yeah, it's a real coach. And see so you have a lot of room in there. And I stuck a hobby lobby receipt in there. But um and then there's the coach tag. So this was on sale. This was like 70% off. Um, let me see. Let me make sure. I don't want to tell you guys the wrong thing. I usually stick the price tags inside here. And I'll tell you how much it was. All right. Originally, it was $250, $250. And they were having one of like, their big closeout sales from the end of the year. And I guess this was something, this was a color or that they didn't move because they only had this one color available. And I picked it up for 90 I bought it for $91. And that included shipping and everything so I think I was like 80 something I think it was like 83 84 I don't know something like that I don't I really really don't remember um all I know is I told my husband I needed a new wallet and when this arrived I was like okay this is not a wallet <laughs> um I guess I'm gonna use it as I mean I can use it as a wallet and a makeup holder just like kind of like an everything holder that's pretty much how it's advertised um it's a carry-all so uh, I don't know I mean, this is like almost, this is, it's smaller than my coach purse that I'm using right now. So, I mean, I could fit it in there and just kind of keep everything organized. So I think I'm just going to do that. Anyways, that's what I originally wanted a wallet. So there's the moral of the story right there. Okay. Moving on. I did go to Walmart and this was on sale and this was amazing because I can never find stuff large enough for chow chows. And I bought this on clearance. So it was only $4.97 to begin with. So, I mean, I got $0.97 cents off. But for $4.97, this is really cute. And it says princess. And it's a llama. And it says princess right there. So I thought that was adorable. And I'm cheap. So there was one that said spoiled and one that said princess. And I was like, well, since I had the pink crown in pink glitter, I was like, oh, I need to get that for fancy. And, yeah. So I was like, since our channel name is The Queen... That will make fancy a princess. So <laughs> I'll take a picture of her in this. This is just too cute. And it is so fun to dress up a girl. I am like so excited. You all don't even know. I've already looked up uh, doggy dresses at Big Dog's Boutique. Because apparently we're BBW over here with fancy. She's like a size 2X. Um, actually, she's not fat at all. She's very, very thin. I mean, she's just the right weight. It's just that she's long. She's long and lean, so I have to get it to fit her body. All right, then I bought these for me, and these were only $7, $7, and they were twelve eighty eight. so I mean, you know, about 40% off, and these are cool jeggings, and th now this is the um, junior section, and I'm going to tell you about the junior section. Size up one or two sizes because I don't know what's up with Walmart. 
but um their sizing is small i i mean it is small because if i was to get a 15 17 anywhere else this these would be way too big um i won't even like buy an 11 or 12 in their junior sizing or even a 13 14 because if i want to be comfortable i just size up so definitely size up one or two sizes depending on your body build because i carry all my weight um you know in my butt and in my thighs so anyways even though it says like curvy for every body and all that stuff i was like no i need to size up and it was kind of hard to find the extra large i guess a lot of people know this so they sized up a size or two and for seven dollars i thought really cute i might wear them today or i might save them they're have like faux pockets they have real pockets in the butt area and they are boot they're not boot cut they're slim cut so i can fit like in a jeggings with the I'm just jeggings <laughs> boots or whatever and i liked this color so this is the one i chose for so for seven dollars i was like yeah i will definitely take these and so i spent eleven dollars at um walmart yesterday and I did go to Target yesterday where I finally found these two tiered with a two heart tiered trays, heart tiered two trays. Yeah, there you go. Tongue twister. Um, I did pick, I gosh, I wanted the red so badly. And the reason why I picked the white is because we're going to be going in to Easter. And I thought, you know what? The white I can totally use for Easter. You know, I can put like cute Easter motif here. Whereas the red, I would only, you know, I'd have to pack it away. And I would only be able to pull it out like at maybe Christmas and Valentine's Day. This I can leave out all year round. Um, you know, I can put Christmas stuff on it. Like this whole heart thing does not bug me. It just adds to the cuteness. So Crystal's cheap and I wasn't going to spend $10 on both of them. Although I will say I regret not spending $10 now because, you know, when like, I don't know what I was thinking. Sometimes I'm just so cheap and then it comes and bites me in the butt. But um, yeah, I should have spent $10. <laughs> The moral of the story but since i'm frugal and cheap um i chose the white one because i am gonna be using it um on my dining room table or somewhere in the den and i will like i said i will put like easter grass down and maybe put like um some cool easter eggs and a little bunny up here gnome bunny up there like you know just small ones and all of that stuff so fancy don't bite that um anyways five dollars and i'm telling you i have been on the hunt for these since they came out like right after christmas and i went to a target that's like about 30 40 minutes away from me and i just had this feeling i was gonna find them there and i did um so i was really happy and that's why i chose the white ones because i will get a lot more use out of it than the red one now this was a super cool deal for me i just need to just like I needed to get some tape. I need to buy a new lint roller. I don't know what I've been thinking. I went to Dollar Tree yesterday and get a new lint roller. But anyways, I have been waiting for this baby to go on sale. Like slowly they've been taking it down, marking it down because um, it was $20. And I was like, no, but I really like it because it has like the puffed up sleeves, kind of like 80s style. And they had it in red too. And, you know, again, there was my cheapness biting me in the butt. I should have picked it up in red and in black because that it only would have been twelve dollars you know and i don't know why i do some of the things i do but hey it's too late now um if i see it in red i'll probably get it i really like it i like the material it's almost like a i don't know how to explain it it's a material like it's so soft and i'm afraid of catching it you know like it feels like if you you can snag it really easily um Let's see what it's made out of. Okay, I did pick up a size large because I like my sweaters to be nice and comfortable. And, yeah, I don't know what it's made of. Let's see. Um, is that going to tell me? No. Anyways, this is in Junior's sizing as well. And, yeah, for $6, I mean, seriously, how could I go wrong? Especially since they started out as 20 And I've been, since the moment they released these, which was like around Thanksgiving time, um, I wanted one. And of course you all know Crystal was not going to pay $20 for it, but I will pay $6 for it. So I saved myself $12 on this. And I don't know, I, I want to wear it today, which is why I'm hustling and doing the, <laughs> and doing the haul. Cause usually I totally procrastinate on doing hauls, but I was like, eh, I want to wear this. 
So definitely wanted to show you guys this cool um, sweater. They were having a lot of stuff on clearance. If you have not watched our Target walkthrough, it's a really good one. Um, I found a Target that had a ton of Disney stuff. So that was cool too. And I show that Target. That's actually two Targets in, in one uh, video. And my husband did buy this for fancy. This was $36 at Costco. And it is mobile dog gear. It's dog luggage. And since we like to take our fur babies with us on vacation, um, I used to pack. I used to have a diaper bag for Ollie that I bought at Petco, but that's Ollie's bag, and that will not be used for anyone else. So we needed a, another to-go bag, and it came with all this really cool stuff as well. So you have a zippered mesh pocket, like for your measuring cups, because we do use a measuring cup for um, fancies. Um, food and also like the little baggies which we always have on hand and storage for storage sleeve for mat and bowls um yeah you I mean you take your own bowls now what's cool is it came with the collapsible silicone bowls which is really handy because um these bowls are awesome for when you need to like pull um when you go to like a rest stop and you need to give them water so it's easier to have these bowls that just come fold and you're easy to store and then it also came with the mat as well which is really nice to have also has like the side pockets built-in waste bag dispenser that's nice as well and then also it has lined carriers for like her snacks and her dry food we do not give her wet food we give her dry food so that's really helpful for us and then also um every day she gets like her dental sticks and her hip and joint sticks and my husband brushes her teeth <laughs> Yes, Fancy has a toothbrush and $11 toothpaste from Petco. So she gets her um, teeth brushed every day. And um, so we had to pack that. And then elastic bands hold apparel or towels. So, of course, she has clothes. And I don't think we're, we'll be able to fit her. Well, I know we're not going to be able to fit her traveling bed in here because she does have a traveling bed. And we'll also have to take her crate with us because... Um, in case we need to leave her in the hotel room for whatever reason, she needs to be in a crate. She's still really having not serious issues with anxiety, separation anxiety, but we're not there yet. And what's cool is it meets airline carry-on requirements. So that was another plus. And um, so, yeah, it came with the with two food carriers, placemat and collapsible bowls. As you can see, it is a backpack, so it'll be easy for my husband to put, you know, to carry or if I have to carry it. And that's what it looks like, mobile dog gear. So, yeah, this is the stuff we do. <laughs> I guess this is the stuff you do when you don't have children and your dogs become your children. So, yeah, for medium and large dogs. And um, I thought it was really nice. And my husband showed it to me and he wanted to. So he went and he bought it at Costco. So if this is anything that you're interested in doing, was it like some great, I, th I think it's a pretty great deal. I mean, honestly, you know, you do get the, these silicone collapsible bowls are expensive on their own at Petco and you get the little mat plus you get the backpack and you get all of like what I just showed you. So, um, if you guys take, you know, dogs or cats or whatever on trips, you know that you do have to pack their stuff and it's just easier if they have their own bag in that way. Um, you know what's theirs, you know where everything is and all of that fun stuff. So anyways, um, each of the bowls carries up to 15 cups. So that's quite a lot of food. So pretty awesome. All right, moving on. All right, I'm not going to pull all of this out, but I went to Walmart and I cleared the shelves of wax melt. So I'm not going to even lie. This was also on sale, this Evergreen Spruce 3 Wick Candle, so I picked that up for my candle warmer. And I picked up 26 of the Yankee Wax Melt in um, Christmas Morning Punch and Christmas Cookie. Then the Better Homes and Garden, they were all 25 cents, so I have Farmhouse Christmas, Apple Wreath, Apple and Incense. Let me see, there's something different. There's, also, there's so many of these. Um, Just Like Christmas, Mistletoe Kiss, 
Now there's okay, there's 26 of the Yankees, of the Yankee Candle um, wax melt, and then there was 36 of the Better Homes and Garden. So I picked up 36 plus 26 is what gonna be 62. Now, yes. Wait, 36, 20, yeah, 60, 26, 30, no, wait, 12, carry the one, it should be, I think I'm right, 62, um, so yeah, we're kind of set on wax, wax mouths, and this does not include all the wax mouths that I've hauled from, like, um, all the rest of the ones I've showed you, so I probably have, I think, probably about 100 wax melts at this point. And this is a huge bag. This is the big Marshalls bag. And, I mean, seriously, like, three-quarters of it is filled up. Now, it was funny because there was a mom and daughter that were already there. Okay, so let me get very clear. They were already there. Apple wreath. I guess the apple scents didn't go. Now, they were already in this aisle. And I talked to Winter Cranberry. I talked to the employees that were standing there. And I just asked them, I said, you know, can you scan this? Because this said 50 cents. And, you know, sometimes you don't know how much stuff is. So they scanned the Yankee Candle. And they said, that's a dollar. Then they scanned the Better Homes and Garden. And they said, that's down to 25 cents. So I was like, all right. And it's not like I went to Walmart super early. You know, I was there like about noon. So anybody who wanted these could have totally taken them. So I decided that finally, after searching Walmart after Walmart, I had finally hit the mother load. So yes, I did clear the shelf. And sometimes I'll clear the shelf when it's stuff like this. Other times I don't clear the shelf. So the sis the daughter rather, hold on. The daughter rather, everyone started staring at me because I started putting I just picked up the whole displays and were putting I was putting them in my um cart rather than going, you know, one by one. And so everyone, of course, when you start doing that, people start looking and are like, you know, what is she getting? What's, what's, what's the big deal? You know, that's, you know, like what's, what is, what's going on? So after I was walking away and, um, oh, it's funny. The employees even told me you should sell that stuff on, on eBay. You could get like five times the amount. And I'm like, no, Chris was not interested in selling anything on eBay. But, um, anyways, her daughter said loud enough for me, and this isn't like a little girl. We're talking like this woman is my age or older. So she's grown, okay, grown up. And so she, so she said loud enough for me to hear, oh, they're 25 cents. That's why she's buying them. You know, she could have left some for somebody else. Now, remind you, <laughs> her mom and her were already in that aisle. They'd already seen the same exact I mean, they passed it. They, I watched them literally pass the whole display. So it's not like, you know, they were, I mean, me, I go on the hunt at Walmart specifically for um, wax melts because I will not pay full price for wax melts unless it's an absolute scent that I have to have. Like the one that I'm just like, oh my gosh, you know, I really want to smell this in my house. Other than that, every single wax melt I have in my home has been 25 cents, 18 cents, 50 cents, or a dollar for like Yankee Candle or for like one of the value size ones. So, you know, I didn't say, I didn't turn around and say anything. You know, I was just like, but in my head, I was like, you and your mom, I walked past, rolled right past it. And then as soon as you saw me getting, you know, putting everything in my cart, that's when you guys like literally stopped your roll and like, I mean, they literally watched me from beginning to end. And then they went back to see why I was doing it. And, um, so I mean, do I get like hate in real life? <laughs> yes, I do. And I'm like, oh my gosh. I mean, hate in the comment section is one thing, but like hate in real life, you're just like, really? But um, I tend to kind of ignore those comments because, um, A, she was with her mom. So seeing as she was with her mom, I was going to respect her mother because her mother was, you know, elderly. And I wasn't going to disrespect her mom by, you know, saying something smart to her daughter because I could have said something really uh, not too nice back. But again, you know, you... I've always believed in respecting your elders. So out of respect for her mom, I just kept going. And um, so anyways, yeah, so that's kind of the stuff that 
I put up with when I do decide to clear a shelf, which is why, honestly, I don't clear shelves. You know, I really don't, other than when it has to do, like, with wax melts or some, like, ridiculous sale that is, like, just too good. It's something that I'm going to use. You know, I wouldn't clear a shelf for something that I'm not going to use just to clear a shelf. That's not what I do. And I also do not resell items at all. We've never sold an item. As a matter of fact, if someone wants something, we actually give it to them. We, this channel, we, if I have a surplus of items and someone, I mean, I've done this with a lot of people that I don't even know in the comment section. Literally, I have done this and I have sent them stuff paid out of my own money, postage and everything for free. And I will just send it. Um, I'm not out to buy something for a dollar and charge, you know, $19, $20 on Mary Carey or wherever that site is called or eBay or Amazon. You know, I mean, if you go on Amazon, you'd be surprised on how you see Dollar Tree. Like, for example, these little sh shadow boxes or whatever you want to call them. I mean, let's say I cleared the shelf. Um, I could easily sell these because there's a lot of people like in England and other countries that they don't have this type of stuff and they love it. Um, I could easily turn around and sell these for like, let's say $12.99, $15.99. And I kid you not, I have seen so much stuff on Dollar Tree be like these vases. Order them from Dollar Tree. I think you have to order like 30. You can turn around and sell these, you know, for $12.99, $15.99, however much you want to price it as and someone will buy it. So anyways, so I just thought I would tell you guys that story because honestly, I really do tell you guys everything in case, just to let you know my experience is. So in case like you ever run into it, you're not thinking like you're the only one that gets like this type of stuff said to you or, you know, um, and the basically, you know, I'm, honestly, I just feel like it's just better to keep going and just ignore that kind of talk because, um, even if you try and justify yourself, they're not going to, they've already have their mind made up about you, you know? So it's just better to eh, let people talk. Um, all right. I found some good stuff at the 99 cent store and I am going to show you guys right now. All right. Now, as you all know, I'm not the biggest fan of the, of the 99 cent store due to the increasing prices, but I will say that I think this was a pretty good deal and I did hop on it. Ha ha ha. Anyways, Hop, I love the pink, I love the bling. You guys all know me, and pink are just like, oh, you know, sparkles. I'm easily distracted. Two forty nine. I was like, all right, two fifty. That's I, I can deal with two fifty. I really, really like this. So I had to get the pink, and oops, there goes that. All right, and you all know how much I love Tiffany teal, especially with sparkles. Anything with sparkles is going to get my attention, and I decided that yes, I wanted these, and I thought. I knew right away I had to have one in pink and one in the Tiffany teal. They also have lavender. I showed this in the walkthrough, which is a really good walkthrough. If you have not watched it, I highly suggest you do take a look at it because there's a lot of cool stuff. So I'm already gearing up, of course, for Easter because when you go to stores like I do, I mean, this stuff's already out and you're like, well, I might as well get it now before, you know, I'm running around racing, trying to get it at another time. And I also picked up... I found these little guys and I had to get them. I just thought she was too cute with her little braids and look at little um, red bow ties. I don't know what's stuck to her, but fancy's hair. Um, anyways, I picked her up and I was not going to leave her little boyfriend. Oh no. Well, girlfriend. Okay. So I picked these two up. I thought I picked up a boy and a girl, but that's okay. They're still so stinking cute. So I might, I don't know, maybe I'll put them up there. That might add a little more pizzazz. See, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'll do that right now since I'm already right here. All right, there we go. I think that gives it the finishing touch. So like I said, I mean, I'm just keeping it simple. But anyways, I did get that at the 99 cent store. And I'll show you, I ran some really good food items. And I was like, yes. So hold on. Um, this first item is from Rite Aid and Renewal Wheel Me In Sponge Applicator, 99 cents. You get six of these little applicators for 99 cents in a resealable bag. I thought this was totally cool, especially for like um, Easter and St. Patrick's Day or whatever, beauty bags, period. I mean, they're from Rite Aid and for 99 cents. 
All right, coming in with the food. Um, 99 freaking cents, okay? Crystal Farms cheese wraps mozzarella. Cheese in place of bread. You get six wraps, and these are good until February 12th. Yeah, February 12th. I was like, yes. Um, so that is a great expiration date, 99 cents. Now these are so much more, usually these are selling for $1.99 at the 99 cent store. And these are way more, even um, when I go to Aldi, I think they want like $3.99 for these at least. So I grabbed two. Now I would have grabbed more. I mean, if I would have known these were only 99 cents, I probably would have cleared them. But um, and when I say clear the shelf, I mean, they only had like maybe eight of these. So it wasn't like, you know, I was taking, running around with, you know, a whole box full. Um, but I wasn't sure because you know how the 99 works. It, they don't care if they don't have the price on it. It, whatever it rings up, they just look at you and go, so do you want it or not? And you're like, no. So I was like, you know what? If it's a 99 cents, I'll take two. And I was so surprised because I was watching her ring it up. And I was like, oh my gosh, that is awesome. 99 cents. Then I picked this up, the Philadelphia cheesecake. And again, I only picked up one because I was like, is this 99 cents or is this some other price? Um, March 28th, 2021. I wanted to get two, but I was like, no, we don't need two in our house because those will be eaten really quick. And the family size, 16 ounce, 99 cents. Now this expiration date is January 28th, which isn't a bad expiration date. Um... And I mean, a pound for 99 cents. Now, the thing is, is that there's something kind of funny, but my husband and I are having a hard time getting over this not being Ollie's food. If you don't know who Ollie is, Ollie was our, was our other fur baby, Chow Chow. And we used to feed this to him. Um, this was when the 99 cent store was the 99 cent store. And I would buy this by the case. I kid you not. I think like either eight packages come in by the case and I would get like a case. I mean, I would buy two cases. I would clear it um, because he used to eat this every day for breakfast. Um, and he absolutely loved it. So my husband and I now have to get over our, it's in our head that when we see this, we think it's all these food. So the reason why I bought this is because, you know, this sells for like, um, I think at Walmart for like $5.98 or $4.98. I mean, at Stater Brothers, it's like $6.00. Um, so it is really expensive. So when I saw the expiration date, I was like, Hey, that's not a bad expiration date. And as you all know, I freeze stuff. Um, so if anything, I'm probably gonna put this in the freezer right now. Cause I already bought some chicken breast over at, at the 99 cent store, but it was deli cut anyways. So we need to get over our phobia of this being all these food because that's just absolutely ridiculous, you know? So Yeah. Anyways, that's my little story. So it's rotisserie seasoned chicken breasts, and I couldn't believe that I bought all of this. This is everything I bought the 99 cent store yesterday. $2, $3, $4, and that was $5. Yeah, there was nothing that I paid over 99 cents for. And I thought this was a pretty good run, considering, um, as you all know, I am not buying stuff at the 99 cent store that I don't need or that is, you know, overpriced. That's why we completely stopped doing our um, Saturday hauls the way we used to because it just didn't make any sense to keep buying and buying when my husband and I were just like donating it every single week. And it was just, I mean, not that there's anything wrong with donating, don't get, don't get me wrong, but um, it was kind of like... <laughs> I was already buying the stuff. And I mean, I would say, you know, in the hall, this is all going to be donated, you know? And so it just didn't make sense to keep buying stuff. I mean, usually like when you donate stuff, it's because, you know, you're not going to use it. Um, or, you know, you're cleaning out your closets and so forth. And that's, yeah, I mean, it was wild. I mean, I was spending way too much money um, trying to throw together hauls rather than what we were actually eating, what we we're actually using. And honestly, it's really nice to have room in my fridge and I have not opened up that freezer right there. And I don't know how long, as a matter of fact, my husband and I this week, we're going to have to clean it out because there's just so much stuff that's just sitting there. That's probably old and we need to like get rid of it. We, you know, it just needs to go. Um, at this point, I really don't know if I'm even going to keep that freezer because, I just, you know, like I said, I mean, I don't think I've popped open that freezer in months uh, before I used to need it because we, I used to haul so much food from the 99. Um, but now that's not happening. And it's honestly, it's a good thing. You know, it really is. I'm only going to haul stuff that is good deals like this. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. 
All right, my friends, I have like chattered a lot today and I need to get on the move because we have places to go and things to do. I uh, hope you all enjoyed this haul. I know it wasn't like a super, well, I mean, it was, yeah, I guess it was a pretty big haul, but um, anyways, a lot of really cool deals and I just like to show you guys a lot of the stuff that I get as I'm going from store to store and how I choose to spend my money um, is usually on good deals, although I know the coach bag was kind of like a lot, but it was two fifty, and I only spent, you know, like ninety one. All right, as always, have a great day or a great evening, and I will be on with a second video today. Um, I loaded up three videos. You know, it's kind of funny because the at home videos never get a lot of views, but I, <laughs> but they're good. I mean, I'm just so surprised because the product they have is so stinking cute that I'm just like amazed every time I shoot at, at home and even when I'm shooting it I'm like I know this video is not going to get a lot of views but it is really a good video if you want to see cute ideas or just really cute easter items check it out and most of all check out that target um walk through lots of fun finds there all right as always um have a great day or great evening and thank you so much my friends for even taking the time to watch our videos I truly appreciate it all right, we're going to do a quick car haul in the back of my car because I'm going to tag this on to today's haul. I found, yes, Evil, the Evil Queen. You all know how much I love her. Her and Maleficent are my lovelies. Love, love, love them. I also like Cinderella and Sleeping Beauty. Saw this. I had to get two at the 99 cent store. Oh, my gosh. I don't even know if I can use them. Too stinking cute. I'm loving the hot pink and love her so had to grab it really quick you all knew well okay I don't want to spoil this but let's just say I had to get this for $6.99 yeah that's gonna go in front of my front door right now you all know Crystal loves her red truck welcome with the star with the stars with the hearts it's been a long day you guys I could tell you all where I've been to but that would spoil things all right 99 cent store chocolate sugar free uh, pudding. Those satisfy my sweet cravings because Crystal's on a diet. And I also got it in vanilla. Sugar free. I eat those for desserts. This was the last box. Got it for the honey. Oats and dark chocolate. $1.49. Um, expiration date on this is going to be March 6, 2021. So that's good. Um, look at these. Two for 21. Two for 21. Oh my gosh, you guys two for a dollar and I was like was it expired tomorrow no February 6 2021 so I was like yeah that's a deal right there for crystal and look at this big big hummus spicy three pepper this this baby is huge okay like my goodness two tablespoons 50 uh, calories and I also checked the price on this the price the expiration date on this because I was like this is does this expire tomorrow you know you guys all day long I've been like tripping over my own tongue March 4th 2021 so yeah I can eat this like with some raw carrots and that I mean this is huge I mean honestly 99 cents if you were to go anywhere else like to Stater Brothers or any of those places you'd be paying so much more 14 ounces so good some good finds that's not all crystal found I also picked up the pure leaf green tea for 99 cents unsweetened zero calories that means i can drink it and yeah if i want to add you know sweet and low to it i will i know sweet and low is not healthy i know i know but um i grabbed two of these i'm just going to show you one so those were my finds at the 99 cents store everything was 99 cents except for the granola bars but i have to keep my husband stocked up like with granola bars and stuff because in the morning time after he eats his vitamins, he, he wants something to, like, some type of carb or bread or something to um, down it with because he thinks, well, he says he gets an upset stomach. So I always have, like, these breakfast bars ready for him because we go through them a lot. All right. Um, and then there was something else, a couple more things I wanted to show you. All right, not super exciting, but I just bought some Dove white soap because I needed some more soap. And then... Um, without giving anything away, I'm just going to say that this was $5 and I've been looking for it everywhere and I finally was able to find it. And again, it's the Disney Villains. And of course, it has my favorite, Maleficent and the Evil Queen. So those are just some items that I got, that I picked up today and I just wanted to tag it on to our haul. 
Um, this is funny because I was almost going to spend $12 at Target for the Villains t-shirt and I found it for five. I'm loading up the store that I found it at and I will let you all know where it's at today. All right. So again, um, I'm tagging this on to my haul because I want to wait another week to put this on my front door or to wear this or anything else. Anyways, so I'm going to end it here. As always, have a great day or a great evening. I will see you all later, my friends. Thank you so very much.